Let's go over this multiple choice question about cellular respiration together. Where do the catabolic products of fatty acid breakdown enter the citric acid cycle? This sounds like a complex question, and it is. Let's try to break it down before we look at the answers. So catabolic just basically means that it's breaking larger things into smaller things. Fatty acids. We typically find fatty acids in triglycerides and phospholipids where they have these long chains of hydrocarbons. Now, in this case, we're not talking about phospholipids. We're talking about triglycerides themselves. Now, one important thing to remember is that these triglycerides are made of a glycerol molecule and then three fatty acids. Now, this glycerol can be made into pyruvate, but the question is not asking about pyruvate and the glycerol. It's specifically asking about the fatty acids. So we can mark off A already. These fatty acids, they're going to be broken down into two carbon structures known as an acetyl group. These two carbon compounds are going to enter the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. So that's the last part here. Let's try to find that in our answers. B, malate fumarate. Nope. C, acetyl-CoA. Remember that the acetyl-CoA is just talking about this plus the coenzyme A that's going to help it get into the Krebs cycle. That looks like the answer. Ketoglutarate, nope, that's not the right answer. And then E, succinyl-CoA, nope, that's not the right answer either. This is why C is the right answer.